Thank you. I'm the only candidate in this election who's had a full-time career in the criminal justice system. I've been to the police station in the middle of the night to represent drug addicts and suspects with mental health problems. I've prosecuted and defended both in the magistrate's court and mostly more serious cases in the Crown Court. I've worked with the police, UKBA and social services in bringing perpetrators of child trafficking to justice. Now that range of experience gives me a good understanding of the criminal justice system and that is vital because the key to this role is about coordinating the different parts of the system. You have the police because it's the police commission but it's also the and crime bit which often gets forgotten to do with support services for victims and to do with crime reduction as well. Um, I understand how the system works, but I also know how it sometimes fails people. And that's what I want to change. I oppose 20% cuts to police funding. I wish, probably like everyone in this room, that the government stopped wasting money on HS2 and put the money, or some of that money, back into policing. Of course, whoever was in power, there would be some cuts. I think 12%, I agree with HMIC, that 12% would be a more appropriate level. Yes, the number of bobbies on the beat hasn't fallen, but that's not the full story. We have seen 97 fewer CID officers, processing intelligence, call handling, preparing cases for court. All of those are under strain, and also frontline officers are having to spend more time, they tell me, doing work in the back office because they have fewer support staff. So the police service in Thames Valley, talking to ordinary officers, is under considerable strain. I want to see, however, I, I oppose the cuts, but I also want to see a more efficient service that really supports victims of crime. Too often, in my experience, when people are dragged into the criminal justice system, they're kept in the dark. They don't know what's going on with their cases. And one thing I want to do is to have a website where people can track the progress of their crime by logging into it securely. Because what happens now, is they phone up the officer responsible for their case, but they find it's not his shift, he's on annual leave, he'll get back to him in a few days, he's got other duties, and people are left in the dark. Another thing which I would continue to put an important focus on is domestic violence. Uh, and the key to bringing perpetrators of domestic abuse to justice is to give support to the victim and let the victim know support is there. And individual domestic violence advisors, which have been around since 2005, have been hugely important in terms of giving victims of domestic violence the courage to go to support the police in prosecutions. <coughs> I also want to focus on internet and mail scams. Now, probably everyone in this room has seen these, and mostly they'll laugh and be easy to spot and ignore. But the reality is people do fall for them. And the people who are repeat victims are often the elderly, those with dementia, those who are socially isolated. <coughs> and I understand uh, through research, for example, from Think Jessica, <coughs> that postmen often know who repeat victims are because of the type and volume of mail. And we need to have a system where the Royal Mail can sound the alarm, uh, and working with the Royal Mail, postmen can sound the alarm, and then we can get help and advice to the people who need it. I've lived in Bucks most of my life, um, I was going to say I've appeared in every court in the county, I've worked in every court in the county, I should say. Uh, I serve on Chapman St Giles Parish Council, and it, it's good to see Bill here this evening, Chairman of that council. Um, and from work, and also just from getting around talking to people, I have some understanding of the varied problems in our county. Going from parts of High Wycombe, where there is real deprivation and there are kids of 11, 12 years old getting mixed up with drugs and gangs, uh, to Ellsbury, where there have been problems, I know from my professional work with alcohol fueled violence in the town centre, to rural areas where you have different problems and different types of antisocial behaviour. But listening is going to be the key part of my job. Uh, an important part of this role, if it's done well, is going to be somebody who the public can go to to raise their concern. I entirely agree with what has just been said about local police boards. I am proud to be the Labour candidate in this election. But no one who knows me, and there are many people I know in the audience here, not necessarily political allies, but many people I know in the audience 
who've known me over a few years, nobody would suggest I am anything but my own man. And if elected, I will serve all of the residents of Thames Valley, whether they are in urban areas or rural.